Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. Hey to those of you who may be new and landing here for the very first time. Happy to have you. Um, please note, this is not my normal setup here. I am usually sitting right there at that chair. Um, and yeah, got a new desk and it arrived damaged. Uh, so the new, new desk will come on November 1st. In the meantime, I'm sitting here at the bar. That's a kitchen. Welcome to my living room. So audio's not great. Lighting's not great. You do not need to let me know that in the comments. I am aware. We'll just rough it for now. Okay, so I'm going to pull from New Beginnings Oracle. Let's get this reading started. See what message is coming through for you today. Card 33, Libra, you are healing your heart. Mm. Well, 33 is a master number. It's a sacred number. The, the heart hurts, but it will mend in time. So I love that you're getting this beautiful, sacred message. We don't reduce that. That's a special um, synchronistic, synchronistic message for you. You are healing your heart. How perfect for Libra. Such Venusian energy coming through for you. Um, I'm going to pull this split soulmate spread and I'll have to be pulling the cards up to show you. And then I'll give you my general impressions. As always, we'll go back through with the clarifiers. And then for those of you who would like a deeper dive, as always, there will be an extended. So let's jump in and see what we get. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, do keep in mind it's general reading, not a personal private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. There's a link in the description box always below every video that will take you to the booking page. And... Um, yeah, sometimes the messages come through reversed. All that means energetically is I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. So keep that in mind as well. Yeah, not only are you healing your heart, but this whole reading, the overall energy is about happiness and about feeling safe and protected in your vulnerability. Nice. Ooh. Yes. Oh, okay. So your person showing up here with King of Wands energy. King of Wands is about mm, no hesitation. Claiming something. There's, there's this energy of um, desire. Passion. Inspired. And... The blocker challenge here is that something is shifting beneath their feet. This can be a wake-up call. It can be something that's unsustainable for the long haul. And it can also be a tower moment um, that this person may be experiencing. Now, in the opportunity position, we have the Seven of Swords. So listen to what I said. I am, I am using a specific spread. So... For those of you who like to read tarot for yourselves, the position of the card is important. So if I'm pulling a card for an opportunity, the opportunity isn't for them to be a shit, right? The opportunity is for them to not avoid. The opportunity is for them not to be, um, you know, self-serving. The opportunity is for them to take the action that's needed to avoid catastrophe by not avoiding the action they need to take. Are you following me? Okay. And we're going to clarify. Don't worry. You are stepping into this reading with the energy of the Six of Cups. Past life soulmate energy. And your blocker challenges. Nothing's happening. <laughs> King of Wands needs to take some action. Okay? It's like... Spirit's handing you this Ace of Wands and nobody's doing anything with it. It's a problem. And the opportunity is, yeah, we need to help each other. There's strong Leo energy in this reading. All three of these cards, Libra, are Leo, associated with the sign of Leo. 
just so you know. So if you have Leo in your chart, or if your person is a Leo or has Leo in their chart, or if you're cross-watching for a Libra and you're a Leo, you see what I'm saying? A lot of Leo energy here. But these two help each other. The strength card isn't just about overcoming obstacles, and it's not just about gathering up our strength, our courage, and our confidence to know that we can. It's about these two bound eternally, helping each other overcome it's the give a give a leg up kind of a card so yeah and I'm doing a split soulmate spread I'm looking at you separately here for a reason I want you to be able to see what you're each dealing with separately with regard to this connection all right yeah Oh, okay. So we have the sun as the overall energy king of cups shows up and then we've got that queen of wands. Mm -hmm. There's love and passion here. It's strong, it's real, and it's deep. Underneath is the Queen of Cups. So for those of you who are new, so the rest of you have heard me say it a million times, what I'm pulling, when I pull from the bottom of this deck, I'm pulling something that you can't see. It's either coming from unconscious awareness within you or your person, or it's playing out behind the scenes. Either way, you can't see it. But it factors in somehow. So this Queen of Cups energy is something here on reserve, in terms of compassion, in terms of maybe even a little intuition. Uh, Queen of Cups, highly intuitive. But I'm feeling the connection here at the level of heart. I'm also feeling the connection here in terms of fire, like some mad chemistry, some deep passion. Um, so we have the love and passion. We've, uh, we may, for some of you, have um have someone who's a spoiler if there's been some third party energy i'm not saying i see it i'm saying if you see it if you have the receipts this is not a suspicion game we're playing here i don't i don't play that if you have the receipts it could be that because i am seeing you know you get some cards and you got it's a general reading so i have to kind of acknowledge it it may be in the room. So for those of you who have the receipts, if there's a spoiler, yeah, it could be spoiling your happiness in this connection, but it is not up for grabs for suspicion. If you have the receipts, that's one thing. Okay, so we're talking about high stakes here uh, for this connection. The love is deep, it's real, and now we have to get to when is somebody gonna make a move, take some action? King of Wands for your person. All right. Now we see what's happening here. This Seven of Swords comes back. And underneath from the bottom of the deck. Your King of Wands here is manifesting a creative solution to a problem. Something they know needs to be worked through, worked out. Seven of Swords underneath. Could be the problem. Could be if there was any kind of, you know, shadow energy, anything that was a little slick. Um, but it could also be that they, this is somebody who's avoidant because in the opportunity position, they're being given an opportunity not to avoid something, to deal with it head on, lest everything fall apart. So you just have to take it as it speaks to you, correct? So in any event, they're manifesting some form of a creative solution to an issue, taking, stepping in ready to take some action um, to work on it, to work on something. Let's see this tower in the challenge.
Well, we got all the wands here now. All the suits, all the, the suit of wands is complete in this reading. So here we've got the page lands on the tower. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. It's hard to forge a new beginning in this situation for this person because something's not on stable ground. Um, and with this Knight of Wands from the bottom of the deck, it feels like it's a pattern. This is somebody who may operate on impulse in the moment. They get a wild hair and then, you know, oh, I'll try this. I'll try that. Um, uh, you know, shiny object. And so that's this person's problem is it's like the throwing spaghetti at the wall method. And that doesn't stick long and it doesn't last long. And so I feel like that's been the problem, which is why it's showing up here in the challenge. But again, I remind you, this person is in the process of manifesting uh, a workable solution, provided they don't try to skip out uh, and avoid it altogether. So let's see the opportunity with this Seven of Swords. Oh boy. Yeah, it's the you can run, but you can't hide. You have to deal with it now. That's why in your challenge, you're getting the Ace of Wands. This person cannot hide. And so I am getting, um, right, some, some hint around either third party causing a conflict or a need for some reconciliation of a conflict. So it works both ways. Take it as it speaks to you, okay? Whatever the problem is, it needs to be resolved. It needs to be worked through. And it can't be danced around. It can't be avoided. Uh, no, we can't fix this tomorrow. The time is now. And the opportunity is to deal with it head on um, and to not treat it with flight of fancy. Fancy footwork isn't going to work. Um, shiny new objects, a pretty little trinket isn't going to solve it. Nope. So that's what we're dealing with here with our King of Wands. Now, when we get to you, we've got the Six of Cups here. And you're all like, I I'm just curious. Like, I'm open. How long is this going to take? There's your curiosity. Hmm. Right? Are we meant to be together? Is this meant to happen? Are we meant to reconcile? Is there a negotiable, negotiable, a negotiable compromise to this situation? You know, if you're he hearing a little trickle of water, that is my cat's fountain. I hear it louder than you do, so I don't know who's hearing it. Um, right? Because we, we've got this whole wheel of fortune, fate, destiny, karma. Divine time. And I feel like you're coming into this reading like if it's meant to be that we reconcile and, and, and meet in the middle somewhere and com compromise, you're, you're open to it. I feel like you're very curious. Um, Page of Swords, though, you know, you're looking for some clarity, for some truth, for some honesty here. Um, so that's pretty optimistic. But the problem is you got an ace of wands and nobody's doing anything. <laughs> it's like your, your problem is nobody's doing anything. King of swords. What's the plan, Stan? Right, because the king of swords is the strategist. And it's important, I would imagine, to you that who you know this person comes in with honor and integrity and a desire to do the right thing. Intention to do the right thing is a better way to phrase it. Because you want to be happy for keeps. 
for keeps. You want to be happy for keeps. And it's all available because Spirit has handed you this and this person, this Ace of Wands. It's a gift from Spirit, but it has to be received. And in the opportunity, there's that person, Seven of Swords, looking back at that Ace of Wands, almost trying to cut and run in the other way. And that is not the answer. That is not the answer. The opportunity is to grab it and deal with this situation head on. Reconcile the conflict, the tension, the arguments. And let that be a cause for celebration, Three of Cups. In your opportunity, strength. Help each other get unstuck. Yes. How could I not see it? I hear you. I hear it. I hear it. Like, right? Like, ugh. But of course, the truth will set us free. Whatever that truth is, be different for everybody. And that four of pentacles underneath mm, bugs me a little bit because it's almost like it's very much a it's kind of, it's like, you know, where we kind of get, we constrict, we contract. Where at this moment, you don't need anything blocking your heart chakra at this moment. Um, you need to sort of liberate yourself from this prison. Of these two cards are not going to work in your favor, Libra, or whoever you are watching. They're going to make this more difficult. Um, so you got to help each other. Stop the overthinking. Get out of your own way. Um, right? Because you cannot think your way through this. You have to drop into your heart chakra. That next best step for this person, it takes them into a puddle. Yeah, okay. It can be messy. But in tarot, water is feelings. It's emotions. So, you know, when you look at the cards, when you're doing readings, if, if your eye goes to something and you see water in the image, you're like, oh, there's some feelings there. I, I can sense there's some, something that this person can't see and they're trying to think it through, think it through, think it through. Well, there are no swords in front of this person. They're all on the side. And one step forward puts them in a puddle, sure, but it's, it takes them to their heart and then you're gonna block that? That does not serve any purpose. So we've gotta deal with some stuff here. And that's where you come in with the, I'm gonna help you. We're gonna help each other. Because I see it, that's the truth of the situation. We have to help each other overcome these obstacles and we can't think our way through and we can't there's not you know if we keep blocking our our hearts to each other it, nobody wins yeah because this is what you really want and it's only a challenge If you stay up in your head in a prison of your own making and you feel like you cannot clear out and open up your heart chakra. And that is why this Queen of Cups was on the bottom of the deck. Because it's part of your unconscious awareness. You want to be emotionally available, but it's difficult. Believe me, and I'm not saying it's not for legit purposes because we got two seven of swords here. So I only had a five of wands. So something has surely gone down. So 
far be it from me to tell you there's no legitimate reason. What I'm saying is there's what you want and then there's the process by which you manifest that. And so there's something's got to give. Okay. So um, before I give you the astrology here, I am going to go into an extended, just so you know, around our little King of Wands here. I'm calling it the King of Wands because it's I got a King of Cups, I got a King of Swords. It's all the same person. But they're showing up as the King of Wands. So they're ready to do something. Yay. Um, and what I'm going to look at is from this person's point of view is their perception of you, their feelings for you their intentions toward you, what they're getting from you, good, bad, or indifferent, um, right? Their level of physical chemistry fulfillment. Some of you may be at a long distance, so we want to know what that vibe is like um, and where they see this connection going. It might be very helpful for those of you who have felt that this reading was, especially those of you who have felt this reading was in strong alignment. So the links for that are below. Option one is a monthly renewal, and you get some other extendeds for that monthly renewal. Just so you know, it is a renewal. Option number two is just this extended one and done. And option three, as always, is the all access. Pass to everything, everything that I do, every extended. Okay, also, um, this is the last series of readings that I will be doing in my normal order. Starting November 1st, everything changes. I have done a, it'll be like a pop-up somewhere that says, <coughs> it probably happened earlier and it said, watch this video, um, explaining the new order and why there's going to be a new order. Just so you know, it's designed to help boost the, you know, get me up in the algorithm um, on the channel. So, <coughs> sorry, it is to, so, you know, like to help the channel. It, it's not to piss anybody off. It's designed to help the channel so I can stay here and do what I love to do. And last but not least, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please do help me help you by subscribing below. And because that's our energetic exchange. And I would really appreciate it if you did. Okay? <coughs> Made it almost all the way through without this nagging cough. Let me take a quick sip. Thank you. I love you so much, Libra. Here we go. Sun is the sun which rules Leo. King of Cups is Scorpio. Our Queen of Wands is Aries. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. King of Wands is Leo. We have the Magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. The Tower is Mars, which rules Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, in our little page of Wands. <coughs> oh, thank God it's happening at the end. Poor Virgo struggled. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. More Sagittarius than the Wheel of Fortune. It's Jupiter. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here in our Page of Swords. Aquarius in the King. <coughs> and more Le uh, Leo in the Strength card. You're healing your heart, so that's good news. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Going to take a sip of water, headed to the extended. The links are below. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.